Hey Gen Chem Nation, um, if you're watching this video then you have signed up for general chemistry here at the University of Vermont and I am your instructor uh, Eric Ruggles. Um, so here just a quick uh, little video to help you get started um, with our course um, basically by just exploring Blackboard uh, uh, showing you little ins and outs for um, access to all the information um, as we go throughout um, our semester. Um, I'll have more of an introduction as far as my you know, you know, personal hobbies and things of that um, within the discussion board, which we'll talk about um, in a little bit as we go. That's kind of the next stage or the next step. Um, but first, let's just look at getting started and. I'm going to switch screens now so we can look at Blackboard. Hey, General Chemistry Nation. Um, if you are watching this video, you're ready to get started by looking what Blackboard has to offer. Um, you have signed up for my class, Professor Ruggles, uh, Chem 31. And um, we use Blackboard quite a lot in this course um, with supplemental information, um, assignments, uh, you know, uh, announcements. So it really uh, behooves us to make sure that we understand all the different components that I've put together to to help you with, um, you know, having good success within the classroom. So right now we're in this get started announcement here, or well, really uh, kind of like a, just a prelude introduction. And what we have is a number of pieces here. If we kind of scroll down just a little bit with announcements, syllabus, assignments, mastering chemistry, course materials, et cetera, et cetera. And what I want us to do, these are all the components that are actually part of Blackboard already. Um, and so I want to make sure we understand how we can find them um, and what information can be, be found therein. Um, and so if we look to the left, we have a, a navigation pane, and sometimes it's hidden, so you might see um, a little uh, arrow on the side menu, and so that's just gonna help you to open up that navigation pane or close it, depending on your preferences. Um, and right now we're at the very, very top with the getting started uh, theme. So let's go to announcements. And, and basically announcements is right now, we don't have any. Um, when you see this video, you might have seen at least one announcement. But this is the home page. So anytime you log into Blackboard, you're going to log into this page. And this is where we see announcements. And I use announcements a lot. Um, I use announcements to really keep everyone on pace with with what's come with you know what I ex what uh, I expect of you. Um, you know what assignments are given for every lecture. Um, can be found here. You know, when we have exams coming up, reminders will be found here. Um, when we have quizzes, again, you know, all these um, pieces of information um, as we go throughout the course, um, reminders, times, etc., can be found within the announcements. So um, you also get an email with the announcements. So so you can always you know have to always come here to read all the announcements. You get them by email. But I would say please read the announcement because um, it really sets the stage for what's expected of you. Um, and, and really, I try to give a lot of reminders just to help everyone keep on pace. I know there's a lot of things going on, you know, so when you get that announcement, take out your day planner and, and just jot that note down to yourself, you know, so you can keep on schedule with, with the course. So that's the announcements. So if we go now down to number one, the syllabus, here we find within the syllabus page um, another a, a number of documents. Um, at the very top, we have the full syllabus. And so that is um, the entirety of the syllabus, of course. And then below that, what I've done is just kind of broken apart that full syllabus into the different sections they're in. So hopefully to maybe help you navigate, like if you just want to look for grades, well, oh, I just go to the number Roman numeral three grades and I can see that information. So I've split those all down into individual documents to help with that navigation. Um, 
there will be another video that goes through the syllabus as far as the full syllabus. Um, so look for that uh, in an assignment. So that's the syllabus, number one. We'll go down to number two, assignments. We will find that if you're following along, you might not see all of these assignments. Some of these are hidden from, from you as of yet. But we basically have a number of modules, right? And, and the module corresponds to the chapter. So module E is, is chapter E in your textbook. Module one is chapter one in your textbook. And we're ready to go with all of these modules. They're all there. I'm not gonna scroll the whole way down. Um, but I just open them up as we go. So as we go through the material, once we get to another chapter, well then we find new information um, opens up. Let's just take a look at a sample one with this module E just to kind of show you what it looks like inside. Here we will have always like kind of two areas. One is really short, the learning objectives. And this just tells us, you know, what we're gonna be learning in this particular module, this particular chapter. So here, this is the beginning. We're looking at, you know, dimensional analysis, units, sig figs, density, right? That's what we're gonna get out of this. And then, and then we have the, the assignment um, I always like to start off with a little bit of music. So here, the first video that we see is, is really um, Talking Heads. Um, so get some coffee, you know, take a stretch, um, you know, um, take a break or, or just, you know, get into the mood <laughs> for a little bit of chemistry. And then we get into the assignment. We see our uh, lecture videos here, room number one, room number two looking at um, module E. Uh, so the, we have these blue headings for the lecture material. Um, and then notice in parentheses that corresponds to uh, the chapter. So module E, chapter E, and then going into the specific sections of that chapter. Um, and then we eventually get down to, uh, you know, um, some red where we have practice homework. Um, so this is homework that will be assigned. Um, again, those would come add us through announcements. Um, and so these uh, chapter E questions, 23, 25, 35, 37, are then in relation to the two lectures above, lecture one and lecture two. Um, so um, trying to coordinate the practice homework with that lecture material. Get down to room numeral three. Um, we then get into significant figures, right? There's a video talking about that, um, as well as homework in red there from 39 to 51. And then we see this kind of purple text. Um, and so here is where we can find help uh, uh, videos. Um, I'll go into that in the ebb and flow of the class, um, as well as where to find those in terms of uh, the actual Blackboard orientation. But this is basically... Um, with number 88AC at the very uh, bottom there in purple um, is a link that takes us to uh, an example homework problem video to help us with um, some harder concepts. Sometimes we like to have some breaks, so I throw in some more music there. Um, and then we finish this particular module with dimensional analysis, uh, more homework uh, there in red. And then as you can see, um, more homework videos if we need extra help um, with specific examples. Um, and then at the very bottom, some harder questions um, that really push, push, push the limit um, for you know, how tough these things can get. Um, and then at the very bottom, a, a connection to a PDF version uh, or manuscript of all of these lectures that are within this uh, particular module. So, so that's what the assignments will look at. And it's not that you'll get the whole assignment. Um, it just will depend on class time um, and things of that nature. And I'll be very specific in terms of what uh, is being assigned so that um, you know exactly what to do. So for instance, maybe the first lecture, we only get through Roman numeral one and Roman numeral two. Well, that's fine. Then that's all the homework we would have 
is 23 through 37. But I will be very specific with that within our announcements uh, link, right, in those emails. So that's where we can find assignments. Now going to number three, uh, Mastering Chemistry. Mastering Chemistry is where we will have um, our online quizzes. And your page is going to look a little bit different to mine. Um, you're not going to have all of these links that we see here. Um, but if we go way down kind of near the bottom, we see My Lab and um, Mastering Course Home. That's where we're going to access our Mastering Chemistry assignments. What you want to do, though, once you come to this page, is basically set up your Mastering Chemistry account. So access Mastering Chemistry through Blackboard. Um, the first time you do that, you set up your account, um, either purchasing it as you go or um, having already purchased an access code. Um, there is no course code, just an access code. Um, because you're going through Blackboard directly. So you cannot access Mastering Chemistry through the Pearson website. You really only want to access it through uh, Blackboard. So once you have your account set up, then you should see this My Lab and Mastering Chemistry or Mastering Course Home. And that'll take you to um, basically uh, the home page for uh, the Mastering Chemistry. Um, Depending on your uh, software, you know, here I'm using an iPad, so I have to do some little different things. But if we look over to the left, the big um, link would be the assignments. So making sure we get into the assignments. And, and really what Mastering Chemistry is, is just a mirror of the actual textbook. So... Here at the very top, we have a couple like introductory things, but then we go from chapter E to chapter one to chapter two to chapter three, etc. And here we find all the end of chapter questions. These are very similar to the end of chapter questions that you get from the physical textbook. Um, some are in different format. We do find that there's some more multiple choice within Mastering Chemistry, but the question and the concept are exactly the same. Uh, sometimes the numbers are a little bit different, right? Um, sometimes maybe the molecule is different, but again, um, that concept is, is the same. And this is all just labeled as homework or practice homework. And notice that if we go off to the far right, um, we do have due dates, but those due dates are after the semester is already over. So I'm just opening these up for, for everyone to utilize throughout the entire semester um, while they do their practice homework. So you know, when we get to assignments, which we've already just talked about a little bit, realize that you can do those assignments by using the physical textbook and those end of chapter questions or using Mastering Chemistry um, and these end of chapter questions. They are really exactly the same, really a mirror image. Um, and then eventually we will get to um, exams as well as um, quizzes. So those will be coming our way. Not that you need to see all of this. You, don't, you can't see most of it, but what we need to um, focus in on is that you do want to get a little bit of Mastering Chemistry time under your belt because since the quizzes are going to be on Mastering Chemistry, you really want to make sure that you understand some of the little um, you know, idiosyncrasies that go along with it. Significant figures are very important in Mastering Chemistry, um, as well as some other things. So so with some practice here with our practice homework, we should all be very um, well prepared for the quizzes that are going to come um, our way. So going back to Blackboard, now we are at number four, or course materials. So here are a number of things that I provide as supplemental information. Um, we have live lecture notes. This is where we can actually find the PDF versions of the video lectures. So we were talking about module E earlier. 
Well, all those videos are part of that module E lecture as, as a PDF. I mean, there's no, you know, this is just the, the document. There is no uh, vocal. So, um, you know, sometimes students prefer prefer that method. Um, so you have access to, to, to those. So that was the live lecture notes at the top. Class question and answer. Every class that we have, um, you know, the, the conversations that we have will be posted in two ways. One will be on Teams as a video um, lecture, um, you know, with sound and, 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 and visual. Um, but then I will also post the PDF version of those uh, of the lecture in class question and answer. Um, so as we go, we can basically find the class transcript uh, within that folder. Going down to solutions manual, just like it sounds, we have the full solutions manual. They're broken down by chapter. So each chapter has um, its own solution manual to help you with the homework. Don't rely on the solution manual. It's a good uh, tool, um, but don't become reliant on it. Oops, I'm sorry. So we did solution manual. Now we go to textbook problem videos. Here's where I post a number of videos per chapter to help the student out if they need some, you know, just some more information. These are like mini lectures. So here we're in chapter E, and I have you number 54, it's number 60, number 71. And what we find here are links uh, as far as this attached file that helps us to you know go through the problem. So we have the question here written. Let's, let's say we have a problem with density. We go down to number 71. If we click that, it's going to open up then a, a video This is uh, number 71, um, chapter that 1. That will then describe it number 71. looking at density, and the question reads that we have a small airplane that takes on 245 liters. So if you need extra help, you can come to these videos, and, and, and hopefully that, that helps to put the connection um, um, together. And for each chapter, I try to put a number of these homework videos so that they can help you, um, you know, any time of the night, right, to, to figure out some, some type of question. Maybe you're working at 2 a.m., um, you need some help. Well, here's a, here's a resource that might, might be helpful to you. So that was the textbook homework videos not only do we have those in terms of normal format i also have them closed captioned um i know my voice can be very soothing and put people to sleep so so um maybe you want the text version so they're, they're all there as well i will say that within the assignments the links that i put for help videos here are always to um the textbook did not the closed caption. So if you do want closed caption, you would definitely have to go um, get find it in, in this folder. I then have old exams from 2019. We have blank practice exams as well as practice exam keys. Um, these are just to help us have extra practice. Um, realize that we uh, are now online with all the exams and we're on Blackboard for taking the exams. So. Um, the format's definitely going to be different, um, but um, you do have these for extra practice, and practice makes perfect. We also have SI. We also have SI problem sets, and and these are 
uh, student-led instruction, which we've had during the normal semesters, and I'm just not sure if it's going to happen with, um, you know, where we're at now with, with the fall semester and COVID and, and all that. So, so I've posted old sessions um, for us to help, which is, again, more practice. So not only will I, uh, in my assignments, talk about, you know, lecture videos and practice homework and stuff like that, but also direct you to, you know, SI sessions as well. Um, again, it's a practice makes perfect idea. So, so these are just extra tools to, to help us uh, with that practice. There are, are plenty of problems. Uh, out there. So we've gone through course materials and then at the very end there's just some documents to maybe help. Steps to Success in Chem 31 is a great one to take a look at. Talks about the work ethic, talks about how to really approach the homework. So, so take a look at that. Um, and then some other documents such as the periodic table, nomenclature, Vesper, forces. Right, I'll, I'll highlight these as we go. Um, through the semester. So that's taken us through all of the number four. And so the last one is number five, which is the discussion board. And so here what I've done is created a number of forums um, to try to just help with questions and answers, even though we're not, you know, socially close right? We're socially distant, um, just to try to help. So on the left, we see titles, which are talking about the, the forums, such as fall introductions, pre-fall, good news, bad news, things of that nature. Um, and then we get into modules as well. So, so the idea here is just, you know, if you have a question, feel free to, to ask it here. And I'll keep checking the discussion boards and I do my best to, to answer right back. I've already started with fall introductions. I know it's tough, we're kind of separate, but you know, maybe we could start to make a connection by just giving us some introductory um, you know, things about ourselves. We don't all have to share, but if you feel like sharing, um, please do. Uh, here in, in the one that I just created, um, if I can access it here. Um, is just a short video um, about me and, and things that I like. And so take a look if you're interested. Please post um, a, as well. So within these discussion boards, we have things such as pre-fall questions, um, good news, maybe letting me know things I'm doing well, bad news, and let me know what I'm not doing so well at. Um, please offer constructive criticism. Um, I, you know, we all have to accept it. Um, so I always want, want to make the course better. So, you know, it's just in a, is in the discussion board to just, to just complain, um, complain away, but maybe I'll offer an alternative, uh, solution with that, with that complaint. Um, and then just the modules as well as the lab, if we have any questions. So that is all of what Blackboard has to offer, going through getting started to announcements, all the way down the discussion board. And if we go back to where we started, we've now gone through this entire segment. And now what's next at the bottom there? Well, maybe post a video intro of yourself or a, or a picture or a picture of your favorite animal or I don't know whatever you want to share it's up to you it's not required um, but it's just about building connections or trying to build connections and then the next video is moving on to the ebb and flow and so that's where you should go next to get an understanding of the ebb and flow of lecture that's all I have for for right now um, again, uh, getting started, check out all the different pieces of, of the, that left navigation page with syllabus course materials, um, and, and start to interact with the discussion board as far as maybe some introductions or questions, um, what have you. Um, I will be talking to you soon.